Hello, good day to you. Um, my name is Kartika Shanmugam. I am the lecturer of Electrical Engineering Department, Polytechnic Potixen, Negri Sembilan, Malaysia. Uh, I would like to present on using technology acceptance model, thumb model, to predict lecturer's acceptance on augmented reality, the case of Malaysian Polytechnic lecturers for DP50063 wireless communication subject. So these are the agenda for my presentation today. Um, I would like to start on the purpose of research followed by the methodology and moving on to the outputs of the analysis and finally the conclusion and discussion. So the purpose of the research, uh, this research is done uh, to predict the acceptance level on augmented reality in learning materials such as the notes among Malaysian Polytechnic lecturers who teach wireless communication subject. So this acceptance level is done using the technology acceptance model, the TAM model, a well-established theoretical model. So um, to predict this acceptance level, there are six hypotheses being uh, tested. So the, one of the main purpose of this research is to see whether this six hypothesis is being uh, retained or is being rejected. So to test the six hypothesis, a high quantitative survey was performed. Um, so once the hypothesis is being developed, uh, the next stage is to uh, develop the data instrument or the questionnaire and also uh, developing the operating manual for augmented reality notes and video of manual. So this is the actual product for the for this study. So lecturers were introduced to this product, which is the augmented reality notes, uh, and they need to refer to this operating manual in order to use this uh, augmented reality notes. And once they have been using this, only then the questionnaire is being distributed to see whether or not they accept this product. So before the questionnaire is being developed, pilot study has been done to see the reliability test. And out of the questionnaire, the collection data collection process has been done. And from there, the analysis to test the each hypothesis has been carried out. And from there, we have come uh, to the conclusion. So this is the technology acceptance model that I was uh, talking about. Uh, as we can see that um, the, to, to see whether someone has accepted a technology being introduced to them is actually to look into the perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use, which means that they their perception whether the technology being introduced is useful or otherwise or to see whether the technology being introduced is easy to use or otherwise. These two uh, attributes is the one that detects or, or contributes to their attitude towards using. So they will have a feeling of whether the thing is useful and easy to use, so they will have a positive attitude towards it. So this attitude is what uh, influencing their behavioral intention to use, meaning is meaning they will have plans to use this technology in use in future, okay, if uh, they find this thing is useful and easy to use. So the uh, the numbering. Uh, numbering that I have made here is actually related associated with the each hypothesis so we have six hypotheses so there is a six numbering here so for example uh, perceived uh, one first hypothesis is to see whether the perceived easiest ease of use is directly influenced uh, with uh, perceived usefulness so that is where the one is um, being uh, indicated here so same goes to 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So using the uh, Pearson correlation analysis, each hypothesis is being tested. So again, I have uh, indicated the results for each hypothesis. So for example, like here, we can see the correlation between uh, ease of use and usefulness. So uh, anything that is more than 0 0.7 is considered a strong uh, relationship. Okay, so we can see that all the hypothesis associated is has a strong relationship. 
so uh, with that we also I have also um, conducted descriptive uh, analysis uh, in which the mean and standard deviation for each item being asked uh, is look upon and POU is uh, the usefulness so we can see that the respondents a majority of respondents has agreed and strongly agreed that uh, this augmented reality notes is useful and POEEU is the ease of use okay, meaning they find this thing is user friendly so we can see that majority of them find this uh, user friendly except for uh, item number two uh, which is uh, neutral so this one is um, basically on uh, whether the output is immediately uh, available or not and since this augmented reality is much dependent upon the internet connectivity so maybe that is why uh, this is uh, uh, the respondents is mostly on neutral so finally we see the ATU and BI all these are components of thumb model so this is the final uh, attributes this is the one that determines whether the uh, lecturer is accepted to use or not so we can see that majority has agreed to have a, a behavioral intention that means they have plans to use this in future uh, and they have accepted the augmented reality notes to be used in that subject so this is the results of each hypothesis uh, as I've shown just now for each uh, the analysis I've already indicated so uh, for each hypothesis um, for six hypotheses, all the hypothesis is being accepted and I have provided uh, the analysis uh, data together with it to support the hypothesis so as a conclusion uh, perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use have positive effect on attitude of people towards using a technology that means when someone want to use and accept the technology first they must feel that the technology is useful to them and second and it's very easy to use is user friendly so these two things will actually affect the people of using the technology and just like uh, mentioned in the thumb model the uh, perceived ease of use have direct influence of perceived usefulness and uh, perceived usefulness have direct influence of behavior intention so this actually is consistent with the thumb model so as a whole uh, from lecturer's perspective so lecturer find uh, AR notes is useful and have formed plans to use it in future so we have come to the discussion so we can say that the augmented reality offers a diverse in teaching and learning method especially involving content that needs sophisticated visualization because wireless communication is a subject that has uh, something to do with something that we can't see with naked eye for example the radiation pattern the electromagnetic waves all this content uh, cannot be seen in naked eye otherwise we can uh, show to students using experiments so we depend mostly on the image the 3d image on uh, online resources but unfortunately the online resources is a lot is too much and um, one of the drawbacks is that the online resources that is readily available now is does not provide the user control the, the ultimate user control meaning the user cannot shift the video uh, in different angles to investigate and to experience them as if that product is on their hand um, apart from uh, augmented uh, reality this feature is available in that in which you can actually twist and turn the angles to see and examine the thing for example the radiation pattern they can actually twist it and turn it and they can actually memorize it they can recall it better so um, this research is only done for lecturers who teach wireless communication subject so maybe we have future study to see whether augmented reality can be implemented in any other subject so that's all from me uh, thank you very much for listening good day